Hi, and welcome to FT Insights. I'm Mike Fibus. Now, imagine you go to the doctor to get treated for something, and then you walk out with a prescription. But this prescription isn't for pills. No, it's for a tiny electronic device that treats your condition using nerve stimulation. This isn't science fiction. It's an exciting field called bioelectronic medicine. And it's recently captured the attention not only of the drug industry, but also tech and, of course, healthcare. Now, there's a lot of money being invested in bioelectronics. Recently, Google and GlaxoSmithKline poured more than $700 million into a joint venture. I had a chance to visit the new Center for Bioelectronic Medicine at Northwell Health's Feinstein Institute for Medical Research. The folks there are taking a much more systematic approach to bioelectronics. Bioelectronic medicine is a process. And, and as in the pharmaceutical industry, you begin with a disease, um, cancer. And then you pick your molecular target, uh, transcription factor. And then you screen for molecules to hit the transcription factor to cure the cancer. That's how the pharmaceutical industry has operated since 1912. That was Kevin Tracy, the CEO of the center. Last year, he and his colleagues made a breakthrough discovery. They found that they could reduce inflammation in rheumatoid arthritis sufferers by electrically stimulating the vagus nerve. Now, Tracy and his colleagues proved that the nerve stimulation restricted the body's production of cytokine which triggered the inflammation response. The treatment could end up helping those who suffer from other inflammatory conditions as well, like Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. The beauty of nerve stimulation is that there are no systemic side effects. As anyone who's seen pharmaceutical ads on TV can tell you, that's just not true with drugs. Even in this age of digital transformation, with so much happening in healthcare, bioelectronic medicine is an emerging field that's clearly one to watch. I'm excited to see what's coming next, and you should be too. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.